part of the warm-up process to get this psychophysical juice flowing are a series of four movement qualities. Uh, one is molding. And molding is being aware of the space between your limbs and your body and objects. In dance, it's called the negative space. So you have two dancers, instead of just moving like that, they're moving in such a way that they're creating a kind of tension between their bodies in terms of the space. So molding is working with the, with the body, with the environment, to create between the body and the space. What happens instinctively is you start to feel the air. And as you start to feel the air around you, your imagination starts kicking in. So you're working physically, you're working with precision and fluidity, but you're also working with imagination. You start to feel that the air can change colour. So what if the air becomes hotter? Or the air becomes colder and you're moulding cold air? Moulding is about becoming more precise in space, better at handling objects, and being more in relation with other people. And the next one is floating. Floating is more like being supported. So again, it's putting the focus on the outside, on the third element of these, of the triad of the inner life, the body, and the external. So it's putting the focus on the external. You're actually starting to work with being supported by the air. So you can run, you can you can fall, you can roll. It's a really effective way of enabling presence to start to develop you start to become much more kind of aware of the space around you much more present and then flying is the next which is really about coming in contact with impulse because you're suddenly blown like a, a piece of paper and flying is being thrown it's really being thrown it's partly being supported as well as with floating but it's being thrown by impulse. So uh, you're practicing impulse. So you can just go out on your kind of daily run <laughs> and uh, run as if you're being blown down the street like a piece of paper. Or you can run as if you're floating. Or you can run as if you're molding the space around you. So clean, fluid movements. And then the next one, radiating, which I've already uh, discussed really, is the inner life or the energy of your intention expands outward into the space and affects the physical body immediately as well as the other bodies in the space and fills the space and this is the key to what we call atmosphere in the Chekhov system and we'll look at atmospheres later as well but these are the finger exercises that enable you to become strong with this kind of work you can radiate out any feeling just whatever you're feeling now a bit of nervousness, a bit of boredom, a bit of joy, a bit of fear. You can radiate that out to the surface of the skin and you radiate that into the space. And when you radiate that feeling out into the space, that becomes the atmosphere and you start to work with it. So then you use your imagination to place that feeling around you. And you start to work in that new atmosphere. And if you notice, it's going to change everything. It'll change the way you speak and your voice and everything. You can change the atmosphere to something else. You radiate a different energy, maybe a sort of warm heart energy. <laughs> and then, <laughs> see, it makes me laugh. It's a nice feeling. And you kind of radiate out into the space and you fill the space with that uh, different energy, with that warm. Uh, energy. Okay, so that's radiating from the inner life out into the space.